beautiful sunshine. Wasn't Joe. it gorgeous out there today? But boy, have we had some funky weather. <laughs> <laughs> Is it getting old? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't believe it when I woke up and saw sunshine. I said, something's going to happen. You know, it's just really strange the way the past several weeks, and for that matter, the past several months have gone. Looks like we'll stay cold, I think, for the next several days. So today was the warm day. Looks like beginning tomorrow, temperatures will start to head on down. Might get a little bit of a break on Tuesday, and that just means we've got another storm heading our way for the end of next week. We'll put all the pieces of the puzzle together for you. First of all, our fast cast for tonight. Hey, a great looking evening out there. It'll be cool, but nothing that unusual for this time of year. This evening, we fall down to about 24 degrees by later on tonight and tomorrow morning. Clouds will be on the increase after midnight. Tomorrow, those clouds hang tough for much of the day. I think we will see some sunshine, though, towards later on tomorrow afternoon. And if we get enough sunshine, temperatures may warm up to 35. So here's what's coming up across the area for the next several days. First of all, more clouds, no doubt about that. Cooler temperatures for tomorrow. And can you believe it? Maybe we might see a few snowflakes as we kick off the next work week. That's just a chance in this next storm system heading our way very, very weak. It will not even cover the ground in snow. We might just see a little bit of a snow flurry or two as we kick off the early part of next week. Out there right now, skies mostly sunny. Current temperature at KCI, 42 degrees, dew point at 30. Winds are out of the southwest at 13. Those southwesterly winds have helped to warm temperatures up. As a matter of fact, some places to the north and to the west, away from the snow cover, are seeing temperatures right now up into the upper 40s to right around 50 degrees. Well, here's the current situation for you. We've got some pretty typical weather for this time of year right on top of the midsection of our nation. However, our next change in the weather is coming from the northern part of the country. It's a weak little storm, and attached to it is a rather weak little cold front that's right now stretching across the Dakotas. Behind this cold front, we've got a little shot of some Canadian air that is heading down towards the Kansas City area over the next 24 hours. It should move in later on tonight into tomorrow morning. So what that means for us for tomorrow, usually when we get to these cool shots of air, you get some cloud cover, and that's exactly what I have in the forecast for tomorrow. I think by later on tomorrow afternoon, the sun will start to come out. But again, we'll be feeling some Canadian air on top of us, and as a result, temperatures for tomorrow should be running about 10, maybe 12 degrees colder than what we saw earlier today. So our forecast goes like this for the remainder of tonight. Skies will be cleared this evening, becoming cloudy after midnight. Overnight low down to about 24. Great start tomorrow. A little sunshine towards tomorrow afternoon. High temperature near 35 degrees. A gray day on Monday. Maybe a couple of snow flurries. No, repeat, no, no accumulations uh -huh. on Monday. Then we warm up on Tuesday, set the stage for another storm for the end of next week to give us some rain on Thursday, and then maybe the rain to snow to who knows To what. March. February will be over. That's the important part. Yeah, got to just keep thinking. Just a few more days, yeah. and then we get into March, and then maybe the end is near. Thanks, Joe. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Well, the South is still recovering tonight from the storm that passed through Kansas City yesterday. Flash floods and high winds caused severe damage in some regions. See what hit them and missed us, sort of, in about <laughs> 10 minutes. And no matter